welcome to Flight Test. I'm Alex. And I'm Josh. And today is a very special day. Never flown anything like this in our lives. Yep, so you don't have to go to the store anymore to buy a plane. You don't even have to buy it off the internet. It's because you can download it off the internet. <laughs> and you can print it at home. Yeah, print it on your 3D printer. Today we have a P38 here from uh, 3D, 3D Lab Print. 3D Lab Print. Gentleman out of uh, the Czech Republic actually sent this to us. And he designs these things and sells the STL files online. So yes. you can download them and print it at home and make an awesome scale P38. This thing looks incredible. I've never seen something so scale and also so beautiful in my life. Uh, one thing this gentleman put as much passion in is not only designing this beautiful airplane, but also making sure people had everything they needed before they chose to even download yep. and pay for the STL files. Yeah, we printed off the owner's manual for yeah, this thing. which is free. And it's more in depth than any big box plane that I've yeah. ever seen. He gives you multiple motor specs. He gives you setup instructions. He gives you video links. Everything you need to have a great experience and put this thing together because let's face it, it is a very intimidating looking build. Yes, and he has multiple planes too. We have the P-38 here, but he has all your favorite Warbirds from yes. Messerschmitts to, uh, he has a P-47 and they're all just as beautiful as this yeah. one. They're works of art. Yeah, the, the user guide was very useful for me. This actually takes a 12 channel radio and the user guide was very helpful. Also, we use the Grappner 24 Pro mm -hmm. and we were able to actually just do switch selection by moving the sticks. I had this programmed in about five minutes. That's it was awesome. incredible. So there are more specs in this than people could ever imagine and we don't have time to go through them all. So let's go ahead and give them to you right now. Specs. Now, my arm's getting tired because this thing's actually pretty heavy, so yep. our guess is it's gonna be an advanced flyer. <laughs> they call for a three, uh, 3,000 milliamp battery. We actually have two 2250s in here paralleled because the 3,000 milliamp battery uh, was quite a brick yeah. back in the day when this was, was brought out. Um, the two 2250s is still actually a tight slider. We had to move it all the way in the forward part of the nose. And one of my favorite things, which is really, really cool, is the materials to build your airframe. It's About like, 18 bucks. Yeah, eight, it's 15 <laughs> to 18 bucks. Obviously, probably depending on which yeah. airplane you do. Um, but that's incredible. So there's two different materials you can print this from. PLA is one, and PETG yep. is the other. I don't know what those mean, but that's Plastic. what you need. Plastic. <laughs> so what's for dinner? <laughs> All right, you want to put it in the air? Yeah, let's do it. All right. You got All right, this, this, this has we full function. Face. I'm not going to take off the flaps right off the bat. I'm going to just take it off nice and clean. Okay. And here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. That looks incredible. And it flies incredible. I'm just gonna fly it nice and lazy, get some nice altitude up. The sun just blew through it. Oh my gosh. I know, I gosh. couldn't see you at all on my, uh, my board camera. All right, I'm gonna trim it up. Oh my gosh, okay. So going back to flying uh, gas planes, this is not a foamy. This flies like a big heavy warbird, but it also looks incredible. Look at that. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. Now, because you can print this at home, that's wonderful, but I gotta imagine this is a little bit more brittle than most yeah, planes. especially today, it's pretty cold. Yeah, you ready for the retracts to go up? Yeah. All right, go three, two, it. one, there we go. And there they go. Oh my, yep, and you can definitely feel it, it's leaked up a lot. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna do a, <laughs> I'm gonna do a low, not slow flyby, but I'm gonna do a nice flyby Christian's head here. <laughs> if I could get the uh, shaking in my hands to go away, I could fly even smoother. Oh my gosh, man, I saw the sun oh, through your wings. <laughs> this could so never cool. be painted. Yeah. Slower already. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude, that's incredible. I, I mean, I knew it was going to fly. Oh my goodness. It looks like it flies amazing. I, I feel like a kid again with, with big chainsaw motor, warbirds flying across. It just. It's actually not that fast. It's not as fast yeah. as I was expecting it to be. But it is rewarding. It looks beautiful. Look at that. I'm just gonna keep going through the sun. Now I'm gonna go ahead and kick it up just one more duel right here. Just give myself a little bit higher rates. Cause that slow roll was incredibly slow. It flies like a heavy model. I am not gonna do a stall test on this. <laughs> now, okay, you know what? I'll do a stall test on yeah, this. Yeah, let's do it, man. You can All right. Do. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bring her around one time. Yeah, turn it around the other way so I can put it, see you. Put it in the wind. When you go into the sun, I can't see you at all because it shines I, I love flying through the sun, though. All right, nice and high up. I'm on you. All right, people are gonna wanna see a stall test, right? Yep. This looks honestly like a, a shrunken P38, so I don't know what it's gonna do. All right, pull them back, power down, pull them back, pull them back, pull them back, pull up, and no way. Oh my, no it? way. Is that it? That's it. That's full, that's full up right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's incredible. 
All right, I take it all back. And you know what's crazy too is, it, I don't know for sure, but it looks like it's like a one-to-one -one scale of really the actual does. P38. Like you took actual P38 plans or blueprints. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> it flies on, on rails. All right, you want to try some flaps? Yeah, try some flaps. Slow that bad boy down. All right, so I got to remember which one I programmed for flaps. I think it's this one right here. One notch. All right, of course the nose pitches up just a little bit. And there we go. She's a kite. This is not a light plane, but it's flying. It's flying very slow. I would love to see this on a four cell setup. Does it take much throttle power or uh, keep it maintained? I am right now just below half and I'm not losing an inch of altitude. You got one, one notch of flaps. Nope. All right, ready for, for both the next one? Yep. Boom. Definitely pitched up harder that way. I'm feeding in more throttle, pushing down on the nose. But look at that slow down. Dude, that looks so that cool in the sun right now. Oh my god. Oh, I have never flown anything like this. <laughs> and it's it's eighteen dollars. You print it at right. home like a like a one notch down, two notch down. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I what I expected and what we're getting right here is incredible. Another roll. Boom. Boom. So for those of you guys who are, are fairly unfamiliar with 3D printers, the way it works is typically 3D printers have uh, a small print surface, like anywhere, like in the early days they'd have ones as small as like five inches. I'm assuming this one you probably need like a 10 or 12 inch print surface. And what you do is you print out each section one at a time. Yeah. Um, so the wing and the fuselage and everything is divided into sections. And then what it looked like he did is he, he glued them all together with, I'm assuming, C8. I'm gonna drop the gear, boom. And I'm also gonna drop one notch of flaps. I don't know how much throttle or battery I have. Yeah, same here. So let's go ahead and just bring her in for a quick. I'm on you. I'm gonna keep my speed up until I get it down below. Oh. I'd like to say that was the smoothest landing, but it wasn't. But... I was underneath you. You almost landed on me. <laughs> you were like, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally underneath you. I'm like, I got to cut the throttle. He's going to land on me. <laughs> you know, I wanted just to keep flying around in circles. We didn't do anything really special with this, but you don't need to to really appreciate it. No, it's it. a work of art, and I don't want to see this thing go anywhere. I want to keep it keep it around. It's so beautiful. Yeah. The way the way he, he really optimized it for weight, the way yeah. that he laid everything out for a great build experience. Uh, the biggest thing to keep in mind, you need a 12-channel radio for this. You yes. don't want to be a wine everything together and really I had to synchronize a lot of things he really built this beautiful for us but going in and being able to match up your servos mm -hmm. and, and dial in quickly is so important so if you're gonna build something like this and print this out invest in a really good radio yep. that can program very easily also if you're a hardcore uh, 3d printer and not so yeah. much a hobbyist and you're looking to get into hobby um, you might not want to start with something this yeah. advanced this is a very advanced flyer you might want to start with a train or something like uh, we do a lot of uh, uh, foam board plans. Yeah. we teach yeah. you how to build plans out of common materials like foam board from the dollar store, uh, popsicle sticks, barbecue skewers, yes. hot glue. Um, and there's also a lot of ready to fly packages too if you're not much of a builder and you want to just get right into it and fly. Um, so definitely start small and then work your way up to something yeah. like this. It doesn't mean that you can't print this out though and hang it up in your room it's and look at it and yeah. get inspired by yep. it every day that you build. Um, my goodness gracious. Yep. 3D Lab Prints, thank you so much yes. for sending this to us. We can't speak highly enough of this. I want to take it for another flight, but first we want to check the batteries. Yep. I want you to fly it too. Yeah, and make sure you check the link below for 3D Lab Prints website. That's where you can find all the designs. Um, he has some beautiful, beautiful stuff yes. on there. Um, check out his website and give him some love. We'll okay. see you guys next time. See you next time.